For the first three years, I didn't even tell my family or my friends that I was taking ballet classes. It still has that stigma attached to it when it comes to boys. And if you think it's bad here, then in India, it's a whole other thing. <laughs> So right now we're on a little um, hill outside Tainald in, in Argyll, here in Scotland. My principal calls it a little slice of heaven. And I think, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I come from a big city uh, back home, Bangalore, which is in the south. You can't throw a stone and not hit an engineer. Whereas over here, I think the population is about a thousand. And out of the thousand, hundred are ballet westers. The first thing that struck me was how quiet it was. It's extremely quiet to the point where it's unnerving. But you get used to it. And now when I go into Glasgow, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I miss Tainalt already. I've always loved music and I loved singing as a child. And my mother's a music teacher. I grew up listening to Patsy Cline, Ella Fitzgerald, Aretha Franklin, Shaka Khan, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. I like all the divas are on my playlist. So I think, a dance was just an extrapolation of, you know, musicality and now extending that into physicality. I walked up the cottage to take my first class at 20 and my teacher back home, Yana Lewis, she noticed that I had some potential that we could maybe work with. India still doesn't have a national ballet, so there's no national ballet school, no national ballet company. I distinctly remember my teacher telling me when I was 22 that she could only take me so far, which was why I made the step to audition to professional dance colleges here in the UK. I think the, there was a huge shock to my family when I told them that I wanted to do dance professionally and they just felt like anyone would that I was being stupid, I was in over my head and I mean I still have my doubts but uh, I just took it on myself as a challenge to prove them wrong. Ballet is for the young and you know, the, most of the kids here between the ages of 16 and 19, it's, it's nice to be around them and you know, you just feed off that youthful energy and they also keep you in check because some of them are pretty damn good and because I came into it so late, so I couldn't have the same expectations as say someone who's 19 and you know, going at it. For me, it's like whatever I can get, I will take if it's teaching, if it's dancing. I'm just happy to be around music and to be around movement because that's what drew me here in the first place. I always maintain that I'll, I'll go where dance takes me. I have no expectations. I do miss my family and my teacher and my friends. Everyone here has been super lovely. Hi, Ian. Tainalt is just the kind of place where you don't have to worry about locking your doors if you have to run down to the shop. So it's, a bit, it's been a big, big change, but in the best way possible. I love Scotland. The national animal is a unicorn. What's not to like about that? <laughs>